If you're being bullied, or if you see somebody else being bullied, what can you do? How about right here? Say again? He said you can tell a teacher, that's right. If you ever feel like you're being picked on, or if you see somebody else being picked on, the correct thing to do is to go tell an adult, or go tell a teacher. So how about you come on down here with me, and you can represent the letter A for let's get Let's give it up for him, guys. Now you're going to represent the letter A for us, which stands for action. Now, I need you to make a nice big A for us. Can you do that? With your hands and your body. There you go. That's a pretty good A. All right. Now, Julia, you can relax now. So now we have our letter A. What's the next letter? B. B. That's right. That B stands for bravery. Who can tell me? What does it mean to be brave? How do you show bravery if you're being picked on or if you see somebody else being picked on? How about right here? That's right, you can stand up for yourself. You can stand up for somebody else. You, know, you can tell that person who's picking on you that you don't appreciate the way they're treating you right now. That's the brave thing to do. Also, another brave thing to do is to walk away from the situation. You know, you don't want to stay there and escalate the situation and make things worse. You want to walk away and go tell an adult. So how about you come on down here and represent bravery for us. Let's give it up for us. And what's your name? Claudia. Claudia. Now, you saw Julia make letter A. We need you to make a nice big B for us. See that? You need some help? I'll help you out since I used to be a cheerleader, okay? What's so funny? All right, here we go. This is what you're going to do. Ready? There you go. All right, let's give it up for Claudia. All right, so we have our A, we have our B. What's the last letter? C. C, that's right. That C stands for compassion. What does it mean to show compassion? What does it mean to be compassionate? If you see somebody being picked on, or if you yourself are being picked on, how can you show compassion? How about up here at the top? That's right, that's a great example. You can say you're not alone, and you can be very, really nice to them. You know, sometimes you guys pick on each other and don't even realize you're doing it. Something as simple as eating lunch in the cafeteria, you won't allow somebody to sit at the table with you. Or if you're at recess, you won't allow somebody to play in the game with you. You know, you want to show compassion for somebody. You want to put yourself in somebody else's shoes. I can remember when I was in second grade, I came home from school crying one time because I was being bullied. But the thing that bothered me the most was the fact that my friends just sat around and none of them had compassion for me. None of them stood up for me. You know, they didn't put themselves in my shoes. You know, when they were, when I was being picked on, they didn't stand up for me when maybe I couldn't stand up for myself. So how about you come on down here and you can represent the letter C. Let's give it up for her. All right. Oh, she already got it. Good job. Just, you got an easy letter. All right, so we have our A. We have our B. And we have our C. Who can tell me something else you can do if you feel like you're being bullied or if you see somebody else being bullied? What can you do? How about right here? Walk away, that's right, you can walk away. So how about you come on down here? You can be our fourth volunteer. Let's give it up for her for telling us you can walk away. All right, buddy, now what's your name? Riley. Riley, okay, now Riley, you're lucky. You don't have a letter, so you can just hang out, okay? So we have four volunteers here. We need one more volunteer. But since we have four students, how about we have an adult come down here? Who's an adult we should have? How about this guy right here? How you doing? What's your name? Mr. Denise. All right, Mr. Denise, how about you come right over here? Now, you're gonna represent the adult. Is it safe to say 
that if any student in here feels like they're being picked on or if they see anybody else being picked on, they can come to you or any other teacher in here? That's correct. So everybody got it? So if you guys ever see somebody being bullied or if you feel like you're being bullied, you guys go tell a teacher, okay? All right, now raise your hand if you've ever been to a Harlem Globetrotter game. Okay, a couple of you have. Well, something very, very special takes place at each game. You know, we travel all around the world and people come to the games just to see something called the Magic Circle. The Magic Circle is performed at the beginning of each game when the Globetrotters gather at midcourt and they display all of their ball handling skills and tricks and what we're known for. Now I'm going to teach our five volunteers how to make their very own magic circle in about two minutes. You guys think they can do it? I said, you think they can do it? Okay, so if we're going to make a magic circle, what's the first thing we need to make? A circle, okay, so we're going to go ahead and form a circle. We're going to hold hands and make a circle. Now, I'll show each one of our volunteers a little bit of each of 
go in the magic circle, and we all know magic circle would be a magic circle without our theme song, Sweet Georgia Brown.